He's about to take oh. it. Just <laughs> oh. I know I know how to win Artosis over and that's just simply expand. You I mean when you are like, okay, look at this, I'm I'm a little bit ahead. I have good defensive capabilities, I've harassed a little bit. Mm-hmm. What should I do? I should <gasps> get more ahead. I should just make another command center instead of trying to kill my opponent. And yeah. that's exactly what he's doing, man. He's actually playing a great game. Yeah, yeah. Now, one of the things, I mean, obviously, South Koreans do oftentimes come from South Korea, and you just obviously flew in there from, uh, from South Korea as well. What is it really like to adjust uh, coming over and, and actually playing StarCraft II? How much does that mess with your game? Well, you know, there's obviously the jet lag factor, mm -hmm. uh, something I heard M <laughs> MC was maybe blaming a little bit earlier mm -hmm. for that Hydra loss. Uh, you know, that, of course, it is a factor, and nerves playing in an event like this in a land that you really don't speak the language of, all those things can absolutely be a factor, but MMA, you know, he hasn't been playing particularly poorly today. Right, right. So, I mean, I just feel like Show is outplaying him at the moment, and look at this, this is a very oh. nice move by him. MMA and uh oh, show in so much trouble now. Yeah, I feel oh, like no, that's, uh, that's quite terrible. Yeah, I feel like the Marauders are thrown in there. Yeah, he also got the siege off first and just had way too many volleys actually connect. Yeah, and it, this is actually really really bad because I do not think he has too many production facilities. Well, he does have three factories, but he's got to you got to remember that this command center is it that high yield. He does go ahead and lift. I'm not sure if MMA is going to push this anymore. He feels. Uh, very excited after taking down that force, making uh, show actually fall back on that third, and he, it looks kind of hesitant to actually continue on. You know, the show actually until that point was playing just so brilliantly, and he was just a little bit greedy. You know, why was he actually sitting up there? He absolutely should have been in more of a turtling position, but you know, that is like you were saying earlier. You know, TVT right now, you make one little mistake, yeah. one one mispositioning, and suddenly you're dead. It's actually remarkable. I mean, MMA is now at 117 to 108, their 110 supply. Uh, so he's actually caught up when he did have yeah. a huge, huge deficit. Uh, it looks like this third will be landed here at the regular minerals now for show. Some Hellions are coming cross map. It looks like they slipped by the entire army uh -oh. of MMA. Uh -oh. does start sending it back. And look at this, the Blue Flame Hellions coming in. There are Marauders there. He does not want to engage those Marauders. He should be running away with the Hellions. I cannot believe we are actually watching the Hellions try to fight Marauders. It's pretty gross. It's pretty gross, JP. But he does get one inside. No, not going to do much either. Yeah. It, Ouch. This is something uh, a lot of Terran players in this matchup is, have really started doing. is just leaving one siege tank mm. at their command center and their main, sometimes also at their natural. It just really, really helps drops. Yeah. If you get dropped Absolutely. by eight Marines, it just destroys it. You really don't have to worry about it too, too much. It really makes your opponent multitask quite a bit more. They can't yeah, just yeah. do a drop and look away or send uh -oh. the and look away. Some volleys going off here in the middle of the map. Uh, MMA does not want to engage that, and maybe he does want to actually just siege up. And it, this is something that really happens a lot in TBT, and it always happens around these Zell Naga Towers, because you can just go into siege mode like MMA he does here, and he doesn't have to rely on Vikings to actually scout for him. He can just use that uh, site of the Zell yeah. Naga Tower uh, to actually grant him that vision. All right, I'm a huge fan of that type of play right there. It's just so, so solid. And look at this. We do have a couple dropships coming up for MMA. Does not want to get those. Uh -oh, uh oh, no uh -oh. missile turrets. I am liking Show's play once again. Even though he made one small mistake this game, look at this drop right here. Oh, well, that's MMA's drop. But uh, look at the missile turret placement, rather. Is yeah, what yeah. I meant to say. And look at that. Uh oh, Vikings versus Marauders. Yeah, that that's always a, a really depressing. Yeah, it to is. Watch. It's well, it, it's Viking versus Marauders. Or, excuse me, Viking versus uh, Marauders with also some Hellions thrown in. Yeah. So. Both units that are oh, not wow. so good against Marauders. We were talking about position in TBT. Mm. MMA has the best position. O on a map like Zelnaga Caverns, this center area right here really becomes a, a huge, huge amount of, of activity later in the game. Uh, we do have some Marauders over here on the left-hand side that Planetary Fortress has chased them out. But it's going to be really hard for Show to actually move out. Uh, and now MMA is looking to even move more forward here as he mm. was distracting uh, Show with these two Marauders there on the left side. Uh-oh. PC is up Ooh. there on the ridge. This is something that Terran players do so much here. Once you get into the production facilities, you can just get so far ahead. And that is so many tanks. I'm not sure. Well, it looks like Show just might go for a counterattack here. Yeah, it looks like he might, in fact. And back at MMA's home, he has almost nothing. 
So we could go into a base trade scenario, which would be very interesting, considering none of them really had a lot of units to hit me. Flying buildings. And look at this, uh -huh. running home with those Marauders. Getting, taking those out so easily is show with the Siege Tanks. Okay, Siege is up there. I think, uh, well, no, probably could have been lifted, but it does <laughs> go down. No, no, it can be lifted. JP. It can be lifted. It's not a problem, Lee. It's like, well, I think you can lift that <laughs> off. I'm like, dude, do you so. play anything but Zerg? Man, <laughs> come on. Uh, no, definitely a little mistake there. Or a big yeah, mistake. Yeah. But show is way up in supply now. 161 to 105. And uh, looks like MMA is in pretty bad trouble. His, yeah, yeah. his attacks are kind of fading off. You know, he doesn't have a lot of units there anymore. Yeah, that, that's actually a little bit silly to me that he's up by 60 supply right now yeah. and he was actually just he, he kind of had it uh, about a 20 supply rate earlier on lost it uh, for a couple minutes there but now it's just it's actually remarkable that he's this far ahead that's quite true uh <laughs> show taking a little bit of harassment as third base still but he's taking that gold as you see with yeah. the uh playing terry already has a mule there so his income is probably four times that of mmas in fact mma you know, he's floating away his orbital from his main right now, JP. I mean, there's yeah, not yeah. much he's, left for he's him. That, I mean, that's a sign of desperation, really. Uh, we see his show here at the high mineral. And it looks like he's not even worried about the stack. He's, he sees those units and just kind of laughs. He's moving forward here. And I got to say, I haven't seen this Hellion Viking tank before in TBT. And show is really making me a believer right now. Oh, it, it is actually a cool and exciting new strategy. You have to be very careful that Marauder tank armies don't bowl you over. Mm -hmm. And even though that happened, show fought to a comeback, and he he's going to win now, man. I mean, this is not a very winnable position for MMA. Has very few units left. In fact, yeah, those Vikings owning up the medevacs. Ouch! Too yeah. many siege tanks, and I think we're going to be seeing GG any moment here from. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Show had a very early on, a plus one attack as well, he had those three factories, so that obviously was a very good decision. MMA, MMA just didn't have the economy to ever get uh, get these upgrades, because he, he was always playing catch-up this game, really. The point was, and, uh, well, pushing right into the main base. Again, MMA basically has nothing right now. Yeah. Mining with one mule, so his income is, I mean, it's high, but it's not, it's not very really good. Right, right, right. Yeah. And SCV's coming in, everything else coming in. MMA should be GG'ing just in about one second. There, there you is. go. Yeah, yeah. Very impeccable. Well, the impeccable timing was actually like two minutes ago. But <laughs> we're going to go ahead and agree with you there, JP. That game was actually a lot of fun, I have to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there wasn't very much stale tv tness that a lot no, of times actually not comes at all. out. It was very... I felt like a lot of... Uh, I love seeing TVTs where it's just constant drops, constant mm. base trades, and, and really love seeing new things like that. I've never seen that build the show actually did. Oh, well, so. yeah, it's it's just now catching on a little bit. We see it from time to time. I think Strelok was really the main person uh, yeah. responsible for that. But, well, show... I'm like I'm just so impressed because after he lost that, that engagement at the Zelnog Watch Hours where yeah, he had yeah. all his units unseaged, he was a little bit greedy. It's like, well... You're expanding. You should actually go into a defensive formation instead yeah. of uh, a s soft contained formation. So, you know, I, he came back anyways. Even after losing all those units and going down, he was down, you know, 10 supply there after he being up 20. So, right, right, right. That that has to be hard on him, and mm -hmm. he just fought right back. It was actually a really great play. Yeah. So we're gonna be jumping into game two here in just a little moment, but we'll be back right after this quick commercial break.